I tie my shoes up like a baby, so. <laughs> I don't understand what's wrong. Aww. <laughs> that is actually very cute. We've got a bit of a run session going on this morning and it's the first time Nikki and Simone have actually trained together and it's worked really well. They're both kind of similar abilities across the board and, and just have a similar philosophy around training and just making it fun and relaxed and yeah, there's an all-you-can-eat buffet so what more could you want? So that means you have to go at my warm-up pace. Mate, I'm happy to go <laughs> at a slow pace for days. <laughs> The UK is extremely cold through winter and wet, so we look to come on a training camp to get outside. Like I've literally been on the turbo for the whole of January, and there's only so much turbo riding you can do. Two, one, go! Yeah. Lands has been a, a number one training camp location for you for quite some time now, and I think it's, uh, it's dead easy. The roads, from a TT riding perspective, I don't think I've come across anything in Europe anyway that kind of rivals it. And there's good variety of trail running, road running, uh, sea swimming, which again, when you're in the UK, you're looking at middle of May at the earliest. I think every time I have come to Lands Rossi, I've always got a really good training block in. It is very honest and not only from a terrain perspective, but in terms of the weather, I think you just get a good mix. We're literally like 90 seconds from the cove, which the Ironman Lanzarote swim course is. So it's a really nice, safe cove. Like you can swim a K out, K back, do beach running starts and that kind of thing. And then you're straight out onto bike roads. We did the reps up and down the Lanza course yesterday. And then like for my easy runs, I tend to get onto the trails and just take the load off the joints a little bit. <laughs> okay. This is our favourite cafe we come to when we've missed breakfast or lunch and system. I love trying Bex's food. But it I am. Give it a hear. So my relationship with, um, I say Bex and Nikki. So Bex is my coach and Nikki is Bex's partner, but also my training partner. I've always got along really, really well with Nikki. We've always been good friends and we've always had a really good support network with each other. These are the essentials that you need on a cafe. I think coffee. Winston, <laughs> Coke, me, Bex, and a Bex and the Nikki. <laughs> I personally love training with others, and um, I always think you can make sessions work on swim, bike, and run. I'm like a massive people person. I love people, I love meeting, that's what the sport for me is all about. We support each other really. We're really happy for each other if we do a really good session. If the other one struggles, you know, we kind of help each other out and I genuinely really want her to do well this year and I actually think she will do very well this year. And I actually think I found somebody who faffs as much as me, although I feel like I'm the biggest faffer, but we definitely have a good laugh together, mm -hmm. so it's good. Faffer? She, she faffed. Faffed. She definitely wins the faff. <laughs> you need to have a for 10 minutes to whatever time you want to set off. Smoke's always late. Smoke likes to come 10 minutes after our planned time. I bet you she rocks up at 10 past five. Hey, look at that! Oh, that's literally what I said. Smoke the wall in at 10 past five. What? <laughs> I literally said 10 past, and I just clicked on 10 past five. When you look at what the sport demands from a, a training perspective, like as a professional and even age group, is like, you know, you're looking at spending 25, 30 hours plus a week training if you're doing that on your own with no one to talk to and you're doing that over the course of multiple years i don't know many people that could withstand that without feeling a lack of motivation or feeling just a bit isolated and spending too much time in your own head basically going to get between 30 and 40 minutes worth of okay. uh, css effort in so like seven out of ten solid crack old work yeah uh, and it'll just depend on how long that stretch takes as to how many reps we do. Okay. But it'll be great fun. You'll love it. <laughs> so yeah. this will be important for you. This rock bit sticking out here. You need to know what's going on. That's the end of a rep. Okay. I have to hear it stop before you get to the blue So the second rock over there, okay. No. Before you, the end of the blue umbrellas, the rock sticking out. You know, I, just what's in front of us here. <laughs> We've been popped out on, mate. Yes, okay, before the red boat. 
Well, no, no, here. Yeah, I know. Like, I know. I know. I know. I guess the rock coming down. What? Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's the end of the rock. Right. Okay. Got it. Got it. I love surrounding myself with people who lift me up and I choose those people wisely and it usually just forms. I think the advantage of training with a partner in terms of competition would be one, each other pushes the other in weak areas. Two, you get a good idea in terms of where you need to be if you're not quite as strong as the other person. And I think the support network that you get from that ultimately is the biggest advantage. I've seen firsthand the, the benefit of that and in my mind that far outweighs some of the nervousness that people may have sometimes around training with others and them seeing what you do and exposing secrets or whatever. Personally I don't think there are any secrets in the sport. It's just like how you maximise the people that are around you, the environment that you're in to get the work done that's needed. I was told 8.45 leave at 9. And it's actually eight, it's actually eight eight fifty nine. What? I'm early. I'm early. <laughs> well, that is the first. I think when it comes to training groups, in my experience with the para side of sport, the ultimate pairing is like guide and athlete. When that works well and when that's optimal, there is no tighter pairing than a guide and their athlete. And you see firsthand how A lifts both athletes, but culminates in a performance that is shared. Of course, you know, these guys are racing it as individuals. Ultimately, you can only do what you can do on the day. And I know that, that for Nikki, Simone, and, and other athletes that I coach, if that is shared, you know, if they've been on training camp together, if they've shared the build-up of a race together, if they both deliver what they want from the race, that's gonna be all the more sweeter, having done that together, rather than as an individual. Mm -hmm.